Hello, Gemini. Welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you are thinking about or currently in a connection with at this time. We're going to look at how they are thinking about you. What are their feelings towards you? How do they view you or this connection? And what are their intentions towards you towards the future? And also we'll wrap it up with what they wish they could tell you that maybe they haven't told you. What message you know what they have for you if they could speak to you or if they could be honest with you um so let's jump right in for gemini spirit tell me about this person that gemini is thinking about or connecting with spirit the person that gemini is thinking about or connecting with at this time what do we need to know about this other person what do we need to know about this other person well, let's start with how they view you or this connection. Spirit, how is this person viewing Gemini or this connection with Gemini at this time? How are they viewing this connection with Gemini? Five of Swords, conflict, not playing fair, not being, not treating someone good. Um, basically, the Five of Swords is like someone wanted to win or was focusing on their own needs, what they wanted and not so much on the other person. So I feel like when this person thinks about you or this connection, they probably think about some way that they misbehaved or mistreated you. They might have also deceived you. Maybe they weren't completely honest with you or they feel like maybe you thought that they deceived you. How are they viewing um, Gemini or this connection? This could also be that they, you know, you could flip that energy. They could feel that way about you. For example, they might feel that you were mistreating them. How do they view Gemini or this connection with Gemini spirit? How do they view Gemini or this connection with Gemini, the emperor, Aries energy? See, here I feel like this is your person thinking that they were the ones that mistreated you. Yeah, and there's the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And because the Emperor is like a problem solver, the Emperor is um, decisive, mature, and takes charge of situations. He finds solutions. Aries energy there. And then when I see it with the Knight of Cups, and there's the Empress right behind that. So it's almost like this person might want to apologize to you or just be very honest with their feelings towards you. So let's look at, before I get an oracle, let's look at what their um, current feelings are towards you. Spirit, what are their feelings towards Gemini at this time? This person that Gemini is connecting with. What are their feelings towards Gemini? Wow, the Four of Wands. So I feel like they think of you as their future. I'm getting that word, future. Future happy life a future with you, marriage with you, a happy home. I feel like they, when they think about you, they think about how happy they would be with you. They have feelings of like wanting this to maybe go the long haul or um, have longevity with you. What are their feelings towards Gemini? Wow, the Ace of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, yeah. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Very clear energy, um, Gemini. This person has feelings for you, cares about you. Um, I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, it's almost like they feel like with you, what they give, they also get in return. It's a very um, mutually beneficial connection. You know, it's not like they just pour into you and they don't get anything in return. They could also be thinking about balancing something out with you as well. Spirit, tell us more about this person's energy towards Gemini. What are their energy? What is their energy? If I could speak, what's English? What are their energies towards Gemini? At this time, what are their energies towards Gemini? No, okay. What are their energies towards Gemini? Don't want to take a card yet, this one. Wishing well. Your wish is being granted. Wish, desire, request. So they have a, some sort of desire or wish when it comes to you. 
I think that they're hoping, wishing for this Four of Wands with you. Bottom of the deck is true love, definitely. Um, this person's really into you. Um, they think of a future with you. They have feelings for you. I mean, it's coming up in the cards, in the Oracle cards, etc. So, very clear energy. What are their intentions towards Gemini at this time? What are their intentions towards Gemini at this time? Ten of Swords. Oh my God, and the tower at the bottom of the deck. Okay, why the tower? I mean, why the Ten of Swords? <laughs> why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is this their intention? What does this have to do with their intentions? Nope. What do they, what do they, um, what do we need to know about this Ten of Swords? What does this have to do with their intentions towards Gemini? The Chariot, moving forward, making a move, Cancer Energy. I think they want to either move past an ending that you might have already had with them, or their intention is to come forward after an ending that they're experiencing. Um, if that ending is something that's happening in their personal life, it's a tower that's happening in their life, Gemini. If that ending is with you, the breakup with you, the separation with you was like a tower for them. What else do we need to know about this person's intentions towards Gemini? What do we need to know? What do we need to know, Spirit, about their intentions towards Gemini? What do we need to know? Slaying a dragon, triumph, enemies, achievement. So there's an obstacle, a challenge that has to be overcome or that this person is battling. You know, they had an ending in their own life, something that ended for them, um, a difficult ending for them, then they have overcome that challenge and are now able to move forward. And I feel like they would come right to you to talk to you with the Page of Swords here. If this is the ending between you, this Ten of Swords is a separation, then there's a hurdle to overcome there. The way things ended is a problem. I feel like their intentions to come forward. That's their intention. So what do they wish they could tell Gemini at this time? What message do they have for Gemini? What do they wish they could tell Gemini at this time, Spirit? What do they wish they could tell Gemini at this time? What do they wish they could tell Gemini? Wow, the Empress, I value you. You have a lot to offer. I admire you. You are my counterpart. The Emperor and the Empress are both on the spread here. Yeah, Queen of Swords. I feel like um, they would want to be honest with you because they respect you. They value you, Gemini. I feel like they put you on a pedestal a little bit here. They know that you're not going to take any crap from them. Um, you're well established, doing well on your own, looking great, investing in yourself. Um, or at least they admire you because this is what you could be. Um, I'm getting a, a message about that it comes easy. It comes easy to Gemini. I don't know what that's about, but this person, I feel like they see you, they admire you, and they think, wow, it's so easy for Gemini to shine. There's something special about Gemini. Uh, Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're, they're recognizing your success, your achievement, how far you've come, um, where you are in life. Um, I feel like this Queen of Swords is like them wanting to be very open with you, very direct. Um, maybe they even want to tell you that they admire you, that they value you, and kind of like, I don't know, it's not, I don't, I'm not getting an energy of reassuring you. It's more like they just want to be open about their admiration or their respect. What do they wish they could tell Gemini Spirit? What does this person wish they could tell Gemini? What do they wish they could tell Gemini at this time? What do they wish they could tell Gemini? Everything reminds me of you. What do they wish they could tell Gemini Spirit? What does this person wish they could tell Gemini? Waiting around. 
Mm, maybe they're waiting for you. Maybe while they are, I feel like this person is waiting before acting, waiting before making a move, waiting around. And every time that they're like waiting around for something, they think of you. Um, I feel like this person has like, is able to look at your photos, your social media, something about like a profile. Um, but everything reminds them of you. And I feel like they're waiting just to be with you because Destin Union is at the bottom of the deck here. It's almost like they're waiting around for this to come together. Or waiting for the right time to approach you to come forward so that they can be with their destined partner so that they can be with you. Um, This waiting around energy is very interesting. I feel like there's something going on with you or with them that keeps them from coming forward right this second. We'll have to look at that in the extended. The extended is going to be short and sweet, and it's going to be all about where is all of this headed in the near future? What can you expect for your connection as a whole? And what are this person's next moves specifically going to be? I'm going to look at this waiting around energy to get some insight there. Um, so feel free to check out the extended Gemini if you want to get some additional information. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Hopefully you enjoy this reading all about what this person is currently thinking or feeling about you. Their energy is so clear. <laughs> um, this is definitely somebody that admires you, that has feelings for you, Gemini, and wants to come forward. Um, I just feel like there's a little bit of an obstacle. This Ten of Swords, this Five of Swords, something has happened with you and this person in the past or this person is dealing with something right now. But I feel like as soon as they would finish with, up with whatever it is that's holding them back, they would get on this chariot and come quickly. Like if it were up to them, they'd already be there at your doorstep. So let me know if any of this resonated for you in the comments. Um, thank you so much for all your likes, shares, and subscribes. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will be seeing all of you in another video very soon. Take care.